Hello everybody, today we're gonna discuss market structure, how markets move and how can we use the market structure as consumers. So let's get straight into it. Let me take a sip of coffee. Okay. Now, the fundamentals. Reading the market structure gives you the ability to identify a trend. Okay, this is very important. And you can use this on any time frame. You can use this on 30 minute, one hour, daily, weekly, so on and so forth. And the market structure helps you build a case for a potential trade, bullish or bearish, doesn't matter. You need these scenarios. You need to have a couple of scenarios. If A happens, then B. If B happens, then C. So on and so forth. With the market structure, you can identify when a trend has ended or it's about to reverse. So be aware of this. Find another form of confluence before you enter a trend. And also, I would say, enter a trend, enter a trade, <laughs> only based on a change in market structure might be difficult. The reason for this is that um, the ranges can be wide, especially on swing trading on high time frames. So be aware of this. Directions of the market now price moves in three different directions. First one, if it's moving up, you have an uptrend moving down, you have a downtrend. And when it's moving sideways, you have a consolidation period. Most of the time price is in consolidation periods, e.g. 80% of the time. So be aware of this. When price is in an uptrend, this is how it looks like, okay? You have a high, have a low. You break this high, you have a high high, you come back to make a high low. This high low can be anything between this low and this guy. You know, it can be over here, can be over here. It doesn't have to be pictured per perfect like this, but that's just the example, okay? You have to be aware that not all the time things will be picture perfect. You have to be flexible. So yeah, be aware that the rule for the high low is to be above this low. And the time when you confirm this is the high low is when you break the new high. And this is actually when you confirm the uptrend as well. So when price breaches the previous price high, it makes a high and does not close below the previous low, it makes a high low, establishing an uptrend. The uptrend is confirmed when the previous new next high is higher than the previous higher high. After confirmation, long positions are favorable. When price in a downtrend is absolutely the same, just the other way, okay? You have absolutely the same thing. High, low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Breaking the newly made low confirms the downtrend. When you break this low, this is when you confirm the downtrend. I know a lot of people looking at, let's say you have this low, have this high. When you break this low, they say, this is when you change the trend. No, that's not how it works. The way you change the trend is when you break this low. So be aware of this. About the sideways moves, let's say price is coming from a potential uptrend. Have a high, have a low, make a high high, and then price is not making new highs or new lows. It's just purely sideways. After a high high and a high low, no new high or lower highs or lows are made. And the result is indecision in price, forming a sideways range. A breakout on either side might occur and you can trade inside the range. As I said, 80% of the time price is going to be range bound. So you have to trade the range. I would say this is the easiest money you can make in trading. You can trade the breakout of the channel as well after confirmation. About the trend change, how do we change the trend? So let's say in this example, we have a high, we have a low, have a lower high, have a lower low. First, you make an impulsive move up, make a new high compared to this one. Low, new high, and you make a higher high because you break this high, okay? Low, high, low, higher high, because you break this high, make a higher low. The higher low just has to be higher than this one. And after breaking the previous high, e.g. this one, when you break this, this is when you change the trend. E.g. coming from an established downtrend, the price will place a lower low, followed by a higher high and a higher low. After breaching the new higher high, the trend change from the downtrend to uptrend is confirmed. After the confirmation, you might start looking for a long position because it's gonna be um, a more secure way. And absolutely the same thing if it's in an uptrend, just the other way around. Okay. 
Now, about the support and resistances, I have given a very quick example here. Okay, want to take a look at it. By the way, if you want to join our Discord, the link is in the description. Go and check it out. Come and join us. We're gonna learn a lot. So, let's say for the support and resistances. Okay, we have a high, we have a low, we have a resistance here, which was created, backtest in order to see if there is interest in buying at this level, otherwise price continues down. Okay, so we test the previous high just to see if there is enough interest in order for price either to slice through it and go higher, or just like test it, see the potential and go lower. So this is what happens, you know, have a pull, pull, we have another push to the downside, then we come above and we backtest this previous resistance. So, you know, the backtest the back comes in order to see if there is enough interest to buy it for price to continue up. And, you know, this is when you uh, change the trend as well. So, EG, in order for trend to change, to occur, all highs or all lows has to be breached. It does make sense to pull horizontal lines from all the highs and lows. And I would say the levels are taken from the candle close. So, be aware of this. Now, where price couldn't breach previous highs, means that in that particular level there is not enough demand and as a result price goes down and the high becomes a resistance okay be aware of this that's very important where price couldn't breach previous highs means that in that particular level there is not enough demand as, as a result the price goes down and the high becomes a resistance okay yeah so be aware of this mark structure is the source of these basic concepts determining where are demand and supply the higher the time frame the more stronger the level is so be aware of this thanks for watching guys that's the basic concept of the market structure for more advanced things you can join our discord this is where you're gonna get all the information check the link in the bio subscribe share like and also if you want to gain notifications for our updates live stream just press the bell and you're gonna be notified thank you for watching and have a great day